Thank you. Um, so I would like to talk a little bit about my thought process in terms of what's coming with 5G and what are sort of big stepping stones ahead and gigan gigantic opportunities for us to see. So if I step back and think of my days, like in 2003, I was chief scientist at Philips Semiconductor at we sold our first startup to Philips Semiconductor, today NXP. And I was meeting the CTO and he was discussing, should he still invest in cellular chipset development at that point in time? And in, I had a tough time initially and then I said, look here, this is how data rates are gonna grow, 10x every five years. And either you're in it or you're not in this game. Because he always wanted to see, does, does it, is it gonna be refinancing its own business case and whatever all. And I said, this is not how wireless works. And still today, this is not how wireless works. If you look at Wi-Fi, if you look at cellular, you see these gigantic increases in data rates. And um, at that time, we were happy with 384 kilobits per second edge. Mm -hmm. And thinking that one or two megabits 3G will be more than enough for the killer app, <laughs> which was video telephony. Uh, so if you look at all 3G animations that were done at that time, were all about video telephony is what 3G is about. Nothing of that happened. But we see that this increase in data rate generated what we know today. So without that, Google wouldn't happen. A Facebook wouldn't have happened. All these other companies wouldn't have happened in the way that we know them today. And so we will see on the, this 10 gigabit per second data rate is coming with 5G and will enable services and capabilities. If we knew what's coming, we all would run out of this <laughs> room and start a company right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and that's the cool thing about all of us that are sitting here know it's going to be gigantic. Again, this increase by 100x in data rate compared to what 4G was when it started. And it will create opportunities that are so big that are bigger than the oil industry. Because if you take the big four today, Amazon, Google, uh, Facebook, and Apple, they earn more cash than any oil nation on the planet combined. So... Um, that's number one. Number two is obviously what's going to be starting next year already, sort of a sneak preview, is uh, I call it at one point in time the thing book, meaning we can connect every link, we can tag anything, collect data, and just get all things into a thing book. Yes, things talking to each other, like faces talking on Facebook, things talking on thing books. So just think of it, if every stamp just goes away, you don't need stamps on letters because you just have a 5G tag on there. And you can track where this package is going. You can track whatever you want to track. You can uh, find out which parking lots are available, whatever all. That's a market of about a trillion units sold per year. Now, are we talking about 5G terminals? Those are 5G terminals, but they're tags. And some of them are just going to be used for two weeks and then dumped. So um, it's amazing to see this opportunity ahead, and again, it's going to generate a lot of opportunities in companies that we don't even think of today. And the third is, as was mentioned earlier already, is the tactile internet. Yes, if we touch an um, object in front of our eyes and move it around, what is the speed that this object seemingly is moving? It's real, right? Real time means we see it at a millisecond delay at maximum. So if you remotely control the object, we want to make sure that this is in sync with what our body hmm. is expecting. And the same thing happens if robots touch and feel objects and move them around. So for this fantastic robotics to happen, we need an infrastructure or a platform. As we learned, it's not an infrastructure, it's a platform. Uh, a platform which is a wireless communication and computing infrastructure to make this tactile internet happen. And that again, if we think of it, is going to just generate innovation all over the place. Autonomous driving will not be able without it. Uh, industry f individualized mon manufacturing, having mob mobile robots zoom around in factories, picking up objects, putting them together as we want so that we can individualize, individualize our objects. And for this generate millions of new jobs, obviously, uh, with artistically skilled people that are now in boutique outlets sitting there helping us design our little gadgets and things like that. So it's going to be interesting because it's going to generate jobs 
we engineers are generating jobs in an area for artistically minded people of the future. That's what this industry 4.0 or this fourth generation of industry means. And building this infrastructure would, again, generate opportunities way beyond what we can imagine today. So thinking of that, what we saw over the last 30 years with data rates increasing, the internet happening, we're now at the doorstep, opening up a door with a thing book and a tactile internet happening. Us as communications and computing people generating the platform for you guys and all the other guys to play around with your robotics and actually make your visions possible. And that's so fantastic to see. So that's why if you think of when would it be a good time to think about starting a company, I think now <laughs> and the next 10 years. That's great. Thank you.